That breaking news out of Folsom where a third person has died in a violent wreck near the Folsom Dam. Thanks for joining us on this busy Tuesday night. I'm Tony Lopez and I'm Elizabeth Kling. The news is also streaming live on CBS News Sacramento. We want to get right to CBS 13's Laura Hayfley live at Folsom Auburn Road and Folsom Lake Crossing with what led up to this devastating wreck there. Laura. Well, as you mentioned, we are just learning the third person involved in this accident did die. We also now know this was a two vehicle accident. One of the cars involved did cross over the center line, hitting the other vehicle head on. And it all happened about a half a mile past these police vehicles. Two cars torn apart after hitting head on. That's sad. It was just before four o'clock on Folsom Lake Crossing when police say this red car and this black car collided. Driving is something you got to be focused on and pay attention to. Folsom police say two people were immediately killed in the crash and the third died at a local hospital after the severe impact. So how fast were the two cars going? Folsom PD is still investigating, but tells CBS 13 drivers don't have to be breaking the speed limit for this type of severe damage to occur. Unfortunately, in head on collisions, uh, you add up the speed that both vehicles were driving. Lieutenant Andrew Bates explains if two vehicles are traveling the 55 mile per hour speed limit and hit head on, it's the same level of impact as if one vehicle were traveling 110 miles per hour and hit a fixed object. So even when vehicles are driving, the speed limit can look very, very severe. Shocking to neighbors who travel Folsom Lake Crossing daily. Every day I travel. Paul Wright says peak rush hours, the bridge is packed. Four to six, it's, it's a tough time. You know, there's no place important enough to get there that fast that you've got to be dangerous in the process. Folsom police is still on scene here investigating hours later. They tell us they're waiting to hear from witnesses to determine exactly how this happened. The three people who died in this crash have not been identified.